Ciao ragazzi, Anthony here for Inter Worldwide. Who's been surprised at that? Inter lose at home by a goal to nil for Empoli after getting a red card in the 40th minute. No one's surprised, no one's shocked. I tried to tell you in the match preview that this team is designed to bust. Designed to bust. Just like doing things like beating Napoli and conceding to Monza. Just like doing things by beating Milan 3-0, winning the Supercoppa and then trashing it against Empoli. There's no, there's no reason to pick on the nitty gritty of this game because this club is sick. It's unwell at the moment. The symptoms that you see are behaviors from a much bigger problem. And a lot of you fans don't can see it. It's like people need to kick you in the side of the head with steel cap boots for you to see it. There is no resurgence in this side. The team is unwell. The squad is unwell. The club is sick. You have... Look at this information coming out about Skriniar just before the game. About how we've handled it with his agent. We've got our director coming out and giving false dates in November, in December, after Christmas, after New Year's, after Supercoppa. Skriniar had given us the no before that. We have been played like absolute peasants by this club from the moment the Scudetto winning coach decided to leave. As soon as Conte left, everyone's accountability, responsibility for success went down the toilet. Today's performance was exactly what I expected it to be. Lethargic, void of motivation, void of any sort of physical momentum. And Empoli are a good side. I'm not taking anything away from them. We said it in the match preview. What's up? Watch out for the youngster, Baldanzi, whatever his name is. I saw him warming up on the sideline. I went to piss. I went to piss. I came back. He had scored. I think he was on for 49 seconds. He is their leading goal scorer this season. He was the fittest person when coming off. I don't know. Let's do the science and the maths. Maybe because he was on the bench coming on. Track him closely. Four men stood off him. Four men stood off him when he was cruising towards the goal. And then he shoots it right at Onana, who makes a horrible attempt at a save. That's banter level saving. And I'm not here to make excuses for that either. I am the last fan in the world that makes excuses for this club. I know it's a very popular thing to do, to continue with your blind faith and optimism in whoever it is. If you're still backing Suning and Zhang, you need to go to a doctor, something's wrong with you. If you're still backing Marotta and Auxilio, everybody loses their job eventually, even if you're good at it. And these people need to be held accountable for the disaster that is going on in the dressing room and the disaster that has plagued this game today, which is Milan Skriniar. That guy has not made an error like that in five years and he decided to make two in 15 minutes today. Two in 15 minutes? You're telling me this is normal? This guy wasn't gonna stay and you've made him a temporary captain at this club. You have groveled and tried so hard after throwing him in the bin for a Bremer deal that never happened. This club is getting exactly what it deserves at the moment. Do not feel sorry for them. Do not make excuses for them. Pray to whatever God you believe in and pray to the stars above that this team can get enough competition points to finish in the top four. Because right now, when you're looking at the table and looking at our run that we've got after this easy month in which we've now just picked up one point between Monza and Empoli, in which we've just picked up one point between Monza and Empoli, are you actually going to sit there and tell me this team is better than Lazio, Roma and Atalanta and can just guarantee fourth? What more do you want? You want another points deduction for another team? How much more baby food do you want to be spoon-fed, Inter, for you to achieve your goals this season? It's pathetic. It's pathetic. And I expected nothing less from this team today. Nothing less. Thank you, Inter, for once again proving me right the night before and paying for my gas and my food for the next two days. Ciao.